Let's take a look at a little bit of a thing that has to do with the TechSmith Assets site. And there's a couple of kind of interesting things to it and maybe something that might confuse some folks. So I'm just going to touch on it real briefly. Let's jump over to Camtasia real quick and let's open up the library. Library, of course, is where we can organize all kinds of stuff and customize assets, store them, be able to use them at a later date. And perhaps you know that if you come down here, there is a little option here called Download More Assets. And if you click that, it's going to take you to a site that is the TechSmith Assets for Camtasia. This is a product that they have and offer just all kinds of assets, stock footage, additional templates, themes, device frames, and all the stuff that one might find in one's library that we can modify and use for our own purposes. Okay, so let's take a look at the motion graphics here real quick. And I am going to set my filters here for the free stuff, just the free stuff and the new stuff and then you just click apply but basically if you didn't know this they periodically do add new assets some assets come with the library by default of course but this is a place again by clicking that link you come here and you can get more stuff right I like more stuff that's always good and if you kinda roll over these you will see a preview of the asset and some of the new ones have some kind of cool things. There's some countdown timers and some stuff. Here's kind of a neat one. It's a little circle overlay, right? And if you decide that you would like to acquire these, there's a couple ways you can go about it. One is you can click the download file here and it's going to download what's called a lib zip file, a zipped library file. And once you download it to your local computer, you just double click it it will launch Camtasia if it's not already open and ask you where you would like to put it in your library. Okay, so it's pretty automatic and stuff like that, but even more automatic is this little option right here. And if you click this button and say open in Camtasia, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Click it. You have to be logged in to your TechSmith account and you'll see that it went ahead and downloaded this sort of but the thing says to open in Camtasia so let's go back to Camtasia and we'll see on this button right here it says downloads okay so these are ones that I've recently downloaded from the TechSmith Assets site and it said to import it directly into Camtasia what you might wonder at that point is um, where the heck exactly in Camtasia did it download it into? Because it's not readily apparent. It doesn't show up on your timeline by default, and there might be a little bit of confusion as to where it goes. So here's basically the scoop. I'm going to go to open up my various library folders, and the first time that you download an asset from the TechSmith asset site, it will create this folder called downloads and if we open that up now I can see that Camtasia did in fact download and put it right into Camtasia right into my library but it put it into this particular folder okay but if you didn't know that you might not know where it went so it's kinda handy kinda dandy and of course then at this point I can rearrange these I can move them to other libraries that I might have or folders and that's kind of the scoop there. This is the place that it will kind of download and collect those, right? So I encourage you to go ahead and check out a lot of these assets. Like I say, there are different kinds, templates, themes, intros, outros. Uh, you can also get video assets. There's a few free wicked cool assets in the effects option here some alpha channel videos like smoke and fire and they are gorgeous right you don't really get any free stock footage or images actually I think with images you can download some icon packs I'll leave you to explore that kind of stuff on your own 
but that's just a little tip that I wanted to give real quick. How many of you didn't know that? Anybody didn't know that little deal there? I found out it because I was very confused and I had to search for it. So there we go. Uh, any questions on that guy?